Hey everybody, this is Jen from Scan and Cut Jam Sessions and Scan and Cut Canvas and Scal Help on Facebook. <clears throat> this tutorial is about layers or what I consider layers and the use of um, applying them to multiple pages. Okay, first I want to go into using pages. To get another page, you go up here to the green plus sign. You either click OK or I hit enter. It's quicker. Okay, I do this in most of my uh, tutorials where it requires more than one color. Because what I do, okay, this is a file that I made. This is my own file. So which is head with all of the Halloween words in it. So these words I want cut out, out of different colors. Well, how do you think you will do that? Okay, you can't come in here and place different colors of cardstock or vinyl strategically and have it cut appropriately sure you could come and place an entire 12 by 12 sheet or you could place like a um, you know two inch sheet but you're going to be wasting quite a bit of it okay so what I do is come in here break it apart then what you can do is come in and select your design and you will send it to a select color page so this has you know colors already selected there but you can choose your own you can keep the first page as let's say you want that to be purple your second page you can make pink orange green blue and so forth that is what I mean when I say layers okay Let's go grab another file. Because I want you all to get this. I want you to be able to understand uh, what I mean when I say this. Because some of you are having issues. So I'll go grab another file. Okay, here's another file I brought in. Let's shrink it down. Pull it over here. And the reason that this file does not show up is because of how it is colored. It's easily changeable. Did you see this is how it's colored? Okay, and remember for us that use the scan and cut, the colors do not matter unless you are printing to cut, which is the post that I made yesterday that showed how to use gradients. Um, not really how to, but shows the possible possibility that we have when we use gradients um, and patterns. So you can uh, pick whatever color you want. So let's just do that. And then the stroke will make it black. So that'll give us what our outlines look like, okay? But let's say that you want to make a big one of these, but you want six different ones, okay? Or you want to modify how they're going to look, or you want to add words into them. What you're going to do is you come up here and you ungroup them. You click on this one, come over here, send to layer page, two. Send to layer page, three. And so on and so forth. Because then what you can do As you will end up coming to these pages and then you can design and add in whatever you want so like I used a few of these to make up my jingle all the way you can do up a bunch of those if you want okay and then on this page you can size it resize it whatever you want Okay, so you can add in your text. Okay, and then a bunch of other different graphics if you want to. Okay, so this will be one file right here. And more than likely in one color. So this can be your red file. So that when you load your mat uh, with paper or vinyl or whatever medium you're going to cut out of, you will have a red mat. This one can be, say, green. So any of your green material, 
you can put on here. And if you need to, uh, sometimes if you have a lot, you can type it in like that and select draw and pen because when you go to cut, watch this, when you put it into cut, only that will be cut. The color is still visible so that you don't get it confused um, if you have a lot to do. All right. So that's another for instance. Okay. I'll go grab another file. Okay. Here's another file that I had used um, in one of my other files. Different snowflakes. So you have six. You can make up six different pages by coming up here, clicking the green plus sign. That will add pages for you. And if you want 12 by 12, you come in. And it's always best, before you go moving them around, to come in and group them. Then send to layer page. Start sending them to their own separate pages. Group. Send to layer page. Three. Group. Send to layer page. Okay. And so on and so forth. So that when you go to your perspective pages, you can <coughs> make this the entire page. All right. And make sure when you uh, do these files that you check the cut lines. <clears throat> Sometimes they need to be unioned. All right, so this can be a white snowflake. This can be a light blue snowflake. See this one? This one needs to be unioned. See those cut lines? They intersect, which means that paper is going to be chopped up. These lines right here will actually be cut out, and you don't want that. So we're going to come up here to Path, and we'll click Union. I'll wait for a minute. Okay, this is a personal file that I made up. If I just exported this file to my stick, it would not cut out very pretty. Okay, um, it would just be the the cauldron it would cut out let me show you that's all it would do so it would kind of chop it up and it wouldn't look very pretty I want a whole entire cauldron I want the whole entire letters I want the green stuff and I also want the bubbles so I have to make separate layers for each thing that I want. So I'm going to have to have a font uh, layer. So I better start adding. And I'll have to have a cauldron layer. And I'll have to have a green stuff layer. Alright, so let's get to moving stuff around. Oops, let me see here. Let's come up here and click on group. So let's go capture all of that stuff. <clears throat> Send in all the green stuff to page two. All right. Oops, you know what? I bet you. Nope. So let's send the big cauldron to page three and that leaves the fonts on the first page so now this is my cut file for the fonts I'm going to come up here I'm going to export this FCM I'm gonna come up here I'm gonna find my stick okay find my stick change the name to um, cauldron font or, or whatever I want to call it and click save all right Come to page two. Well, I know that I need to take this and move that down 
so that they all cut out appropriately. Okay, now I'm going to come up here and I'm going to export this. Same thing. Come up here, find my stick, change this to FCM, and I can put green bubbles or whatever I want to call it. Save it, and it'll go over. Okay, three. This is going to be my cauldron. So I come up here, export, find my stick, change it to FCM, title it cauldron. Click save. All right. That is how you do export. That is why you need to do it because you cannot cut um, <clears throat> a file all together in one. It just does not work. You do not want to cut this all at one time. So when I say you need to separate it out into layers, this is what we talk about. All right, you can't send this to the scan and cut. You can, but it's not going to look very pretty. You need to separate it out into page layers. All right, guys. Um, I hope this explains it a little better um, because it's it's to me it's kind of important to get a good look on your files. All right. If you have any questions, just ask us over at Scan and Cut Canvas and Scal Help on Facebook. Thanks a lot, guys.